Good evening and welcome to a post Super Bowl. I was going to say stupid bowl, but I'm being respectful of JJ who was enjoying it. Um, welcome to a post Super Bowl edition of Unrestricted Invasion. I am Brian O'Shea, one of your hosts. JJ Carroll will join me in a second. And um, this is episode 13, season two. And today we are going to, we're actually not talking about evil. We don't need to because you see it everywhere. But I want to talk about the fact that all of you know, evil doesn't care. So what does that mean? I haven't been able to really articulate it to myself, and I may not do a good job of articulating it to you, but I'm going to do my best. I have nothing written down. I'm just really speaking from my head and my heart. Since this, um, since 2020 started, we've all seen horrible things coming at us and horrible things coming from people who you're asking yourself that question, how can they do this to other people? How can they force children to wear masks when they know full well they do nothing? How can um, you know vaccine companies force a shot, even leveraging the tools of government, force a shot on the American people and many other countries around the world, knowing full well they don't know the outcomes of that shot, if it will work, if it will kill people as we are seeing it is. And we know it doesn't work. And um, now we see this unrestricted invasion at our border, letting in the worst of the worst. As someone said recently, they're not sending their best. We're seeing rapes, crimes, everything just exploding. And what makes it worse about the invasion itself and all the other bad things that have happened is the people behind it, Catholic Charities, HHS, the entire Biden administration, all of the rhinos, especially Lankford, okay? All of these people know damn well who's coming through that border. They know damn well the people coming through that border are coming from emptied Venezuelan prisons. They are coming from the Chinese Communist Party. They could very well be uh, People's Republic of China state police, who, by the way, have mysteriously seemed to have disappeared. I'll get into that if I have time later. Um, they could be soldiers. They probably are terrorists. We've seen that. Yet these people, these God-fearing people, or these liberals who talk about democracy and everything like that, or even that idiot uh, Joe Houseplant Biden, will sit there and they will say they care about democracy and this guy, this guy over here doesn't, but we do. No, they're all evil, so they don't care. Okay, so why is this important? I'll tell you why it's important. Because if you are waiting or hoping for the better good in people to shine through, for the aha moment when they say, oh, damn, I'm betraying my country despite getting all these millions of dollars, I should really stop now because people are going to get hurt. Nope. Now they could be, you know, new to evil. They could be their whole lives evil, like Joe Biden. And evil, on that note, isn't necessarily that smart. It just doesn't care. So what does it look like? Well, the best way to describe it, from my personal view, is when you look at a bureaucracy, and it just keeps marching forward. It's compartmentalized down to these little, tiny, bite-sized mission chunks. Every centipede leg in that bureaucracy is doing one job which is attached to another job that they don't know and that keeps it moving forward but it as an entity it as a bureaucracy uh is going in a certain direction but the little legs the little workers they don't necessarily know or necessarily care where that direction is going because they're doing their little part a lot of times they're compartmentalized too, not shilling for anyone, but that's that's how it works. When you think about some of the biggest investors out there, the Black Rocks and a lot of these mezzanine funds, they don't know you. They don't know a lot of times the name of their own doorman. Uh, at the beginning of my wife's book, Bodies of Others, which I highly recommend everyone read because of this very subject here, 
they're out of touch, these people. Okay, it's not like they're sitting there going, yeah, we're evil, we're going to hurt a bunch of people. They're not even thinking about you. All they're thinking about is themselves. And all they are thinking about is their next goal, their next profit margin. That's all they care about. Okay, but when it comes to other people, they don't care. In my And they don't care even when they find out things are hurting people. Things might destroy their country. They cannot stop. They can't stop because they have no compassion. They have no humanity. They do for themselves, or they think they do. They do for their wives and their kids, or they think they do. But they really don't, because at the end of the day, they're driven by greed or any of the other deadly sins. And they, working together with all the other little evil assholes out there, create this giant legion, bloated devil that is rampaging through the world right now. So the point is, if you are waiting for someone to come save us, if you're waiting for, you know, say Donald Trump to take the helm and everything's going to be okay, it's not. I'm not, I'm not saying he won't, you know, I'm voting for him, definitely. That's a good fire break, but we only got him for four years. You could guarantee 50% of that time will be him fighting off internal enemies. Okay. We, we need to think in the same way that, well, let me rephrase that. We need to attack evil the same way it marches forward, cutting off all those little legs. So when you look at this unrestricted invasion, okay, you can tweet, you can, you know, feel, you know, get your emotions out on, on paper and call this guy an asshole and that guy, you know, whatever. They don't care. They're probably not even seeing it. Or, you can think like the bad guys without being a bad guy. So what do I mean by that? Join and get a job at the United Way. Volunteer for those extra post office jobs during voting season. Volunteer at Catholic Charities. And once you get inside, spy like, it, like there's no tomorrow and leak all of their secrets and bring them down from the inside out. And there are plenty of people on the outside who are also going to bring them down. So, yes, use evil's tools, betrayal, lies, deception. Just don't become evil. Don't start liking it there and don't go native. Because once you do, you become evil and then you will no longer care.